The function f is defined by f of x equals x plus 3. What is the y-intercept? So this is the same thing as y equals mx plus b. So the intercept is the b value. That is, when x is 0, y is 3. If you plug in a 0 for x, you can figure out the intercept. Uh, if we take 2y equals negative 4 and divide both sides by 2, we find that y is equal to negative 2. So it has a negative y-intercept, so a and c can be crossed out. If you wanted to find your other intercept, plug in a 0 for y. What are you left with? Negative 3x is equal to negative 4. If you divide both sides by negative 3, you get 4 thirds. So it's somewhere around here. Based on those two intercepts, we appear to have a positive slope. The graph of the linear function f is shown. What is the y-intercept? That's where it crosses the y-axis, which is here at coordinate 0, 2. The y-intercept is when x is equal to 0, y is equal to what? We can see that as we go up 4, we're going to stay the same. That's because for all values of x, y is equal to 3. So c is our answer. We can plug in 1 for y and negative 2 for x and solve for p. So 5 is equal, 1 is equal to 5 times negative 2 plus p. 1 is equal to negative 10 plus p. 11 is equal to p. To find the y-intercept, we can plug in a 0 here for x, and that gives us negative 4. So this graph shows uh, the possible combinations of goats and horses. So this point is when I have 0 horses and 60 goats, and this point is when I have 0 goats and 5 horses. Since we're looking at a 10-acre farm, and at the very most, we would have 5 horses, they need 2 acres each. 10 divided by 5. If the line has a positive slope and a negative intercept, so it's going to cross down here and go up somewhere, which the following points cannot lie in the line? Negative 3, 3 would be somewhere up here, which is not going to fit. So if the y-intercept of the graph f of x is this, f of x plus 2 is going to take that negative 12 and you add 2 to it, and it's negative 10. We want to find out when x is 0, what is f of x? So if we look at this table, every time we go up 2, we are going down 6. So it has a slope of negative 3. So if I start at 3, or let's say we start at negative 2, and I go plus 2, I'm going to go down 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2. Alternatively, I could pick one of these coordinates, and since I know my slope is negative 3, I could take 8 is equal to negative 2 times negative 3 plus b, or 8 is equal to 6 plus b, or 2 is equal to b. Both of those methods will work. What is the y-intercept of the graph of f of x plus 2? So if I was to plug in a 0, my output would be 2. However, if I plug in a 0 plus 2, my output would be 3. There's our answer, 0, 3. I'm still plugging in 0 for x, but the y value changes because I'm evaluating the function at 2 instead of 0. To find the y-intercept, I plug in a 0 for x wherever it is. So this leaves me with negative 12 divided by 2, which is negative 6.